Greetings and welcome back to Noble Fates. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this video is sponsored by the developers of the game. And there are a few things I need to tell you that they wanted me to tell, to tell you, and those mostly relate to what you see on the screen. We have uh, new stuff. We've got new building stuff, this ramshackle uh, style of things. We have things called bandits who are going to try to rob our people if we leave stuff out in the open. And um, we have a quest system whereby people will come by and say, hey, the bandits stole my stuff. Can you get it back? And there are various ways that you can get it back. As in, you can pay off the bandits or you can go and trade for it or you might attack them yourself because they will set up camps around your map up to eight of them as i recall um so yeah there's a lot of new stuff added to the game we have crossbows as well we have mod support so i am actually running a mod right now just for funsies called k farming and it adds basically new crops to the game. It also adds some kind of alcohol and moonshine and, and or vodka. I forget what it is. Maybe moonshine and vodka. Anyway, adds stuff. So I kind of wanted to see what that's like. That's the mod that was um, featured in the latest news from the Noble Fates uh, de developer team. Also, the game is on sale for like 20% 20 20 off, as I, as I recall, uh, on the Steam store for uh, a few days longer so anyway pick it up if it tickles your fancy it's very like RimWorld in 3d far better i feel than um the medieval game which i forgot the full name of but you know what i'm talking about i think um but i like this game it has character and the characters have character and i love the orcs they have great teeth Anyway, let's start a brand new game here because I feel that that could be a good thing. So here we see this is a perfect screenshot. We have the crossbow, we have the bandits, and we have the um, person with a quest right here all in the same scene. It's pretty great. I like this piece of artwork here. Right, there we go. In a far, far away land, mortals buy for control over a physical plane of existence. And we get into the regular beginning of the game, which we have seen previously. If you saw my previous series, I'm not going to go through this again, because we already know about it. I want to get stuck into this game very quickly. Okay, and King died, la da 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 And then somebody, a group of people, come and like find this dead king yeah there we go so we have peeps here let's see who we have here most important we've got tony wilmot marth and fergie okay already royals you can tell let's go let's look there we go Th thank you very much okay so overall if we mouse over one of them we can see what wow three one oh builder builder okay somebody's a builder but we don't have any crafters. Huh. Building, however, I feel is one of the more important things. We might be able to get a crafter. Let's see. Let's see. You do strengths crafting and logging and guarding. All right. Fergie is cleaning, hauling, and building. Wilmot, building, 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 nursing, and ranching. Farming, hauling, and logging. I think these are good skills. I actually like this group. This is a very first group. <laughs> I, I promise I didn't pause the video or anything. All right, so who's going to be our ruler? So we need a person, if they are in guarding, they're going to be the ruler. You are. Okay, so Tony, but because guarding is basically talking to the prisoners, I think, as I recall. So, um, Tony, really? I won't follow you. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me think about this. Is, is Mark the one with far? Oh, farming. No. Okay. All right, let's see. We can get rid of Fergie. How about yeah. Wilmot? No. No, let me think about this. What about Marth? Let's see. You're a good, you're neutral, neutral, neutral. That's probably why Marth isn't going to follow. 
So I think we're going to pick Tony and let Marth go. I think that's the idea. Yep. Sorry, Marth. We apologize. Yep, Tony's going to be the ruler. And if you ain't going to stay, then we'll just have to let you go. Sad times. Yes. Haha. <laughs> it's so visceral. Mother Tony. That's a great title. Intercessor just... So this is all new as well, I've noticed. Like... I, or it's new since I played anyway. You have all of these like uh, Autark. We have different names like Judge Tony, Master Tony, Magistrate, Senator. Let's go Senator. Why not? All hail Senator Tony will be like Roman Senators, I guess. All right. We shall be known as the Growing Doors. That sounds perfect because it makes so much sense. The growing doors. I like this idea. Okay, Marth is not having this at all. We're going to send him yes with supplies because otherwise we're going to make people very un unhappy. Um, and I, I don't want to start out with unhappy people. That is not a good idea. Okay, so there we go. So there we are. Okay, yay. All right, let's pause the game. And what I'm going to do, did we get to a point of, okay, Marth is falling off. It's going to ask us if we want to do the guided experience. We're going to say no, because I know how to play this game. Let's look at our landscape a tiny bit. Let's see what we got here. Oh my God. There's like no hills at all. It's very flat. Okay, sure. Hmm. Right. What I think I want to do then is I'm considering making like um, like digging underground and making either housing underground or perhaps uh, storage underground. So right now around us, we have some nice berries and stuff. So I think we're going to collect these food things. So October berry bushes. Yes. Press E to forage. And then what else do we have in here? We have pumpkin vine. Urgh. Can we... Oh, we just cut that. Okay, I don't want to cut it. Let's see. Cotton bushes. Yes, we'll forage that as well because we want to get some cotton for making stuff. Um, then I do want to start cutting some trees. Let's, let's plan out what we're going to do here. I do feel like we could have some fun terraced farming along this thing. Maybe we just build into this cliff and kind of build up and over it. Maybe that's what we want to do here. This looks quite tall. Can't tell if that's one or two tiles tall. It looks awfully spiky here. I kind of like this texture though. It's pretty great. Um, so maybe what we want to do is just have like some terraced farming there. Uh, let's see. We have, let's see. Let's do farms first. Uh, let's do this first. Oh, they are... This is in diagonal land. Oh, yay. This is even better. This is very nice. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. There's one farm. Let's try another farm over here. That'll be two. Okay. Sure. Let's just do one here. Sure. Another one there. Sure. Let's start off with six farms. And another one there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, and then we'll assign a type to each one. All right, so we have corn. Then we have cotton. Let's see, this is farming three. We actually have farming zero right now. So grapes is farming three. And then this is meal beans farming seven. So this one, October berry, is farming... Nine? Wow. Oh. And pumpkins is farming what? Farming one. That sounds good. So this one we can... Wait, if I cancel till commands, is that going to... No, it's not going to... Oh, I can't. I can't cancel it. Huh. All right. Well, we'll hope that they do some reasonable things here. I guess we'll see what those reasonable things might be later. Um, for now, I guess that's kind of what we get. We just get pumpkin seeds because 
I guess we, if we look at, okay, so one thing that I really wish on this game, why do you hide the names of the icons below the thing? Why don't you just have them up all the time? Is that an option, maybe? Surely there has to be an option for this, please. Graphics, maybe? Oh, yes, I need better UI scale for sure. Oh, wow, oh, that's a lot. Hello? I do have, thank you. Uh, footstep decals destruction. Depth of field. Eh, 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 eh. This thing off. Okay. What about game? Maybe I'll ask for that because, like, I don't get this. Why? Why is? Why is it hidden? Why do I have to look for the name of stuff? I really hate looking for the name of stuff. It's like I have to mouse over it just to see what the name is. And I'm not very good with icons, honestly. I really don't like icons because different things represent different things to different people. Um, so, and I honestly play a lot of games, so different people have different ideas of what icons should be. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to get the jobs. Also, I'm turning the UI up because I'm on a laptop that's far too far from me because I have a keyboard in front of it and a wrist rest in front of that so it's like far from my my face uh let's just do our own priorities okay so we're gonna do one 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 and two 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 because we want everybody to do firefighting and nursing then you're gonna do building you're gonna do crafting and then somebody's got to do farming okay probably you uh okay so then after we want to have people doing logging for sure okay and then uh farming may no foraging definitely foraging actually foraging should come before logging three four five yeah okay and then we can have some mining going on um, and then maybe hauling and then cleaning. This person seems to need an extra job. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I think we'll go with that. Let's leave hunting off for now. And so far, nobody has anything that they, they dislike except for Fergie and nursing. So that should work pretty, pretty okay for now. All right. So. We have much stuff for our people to do. I've probably scheduled a little bit too much stuff. I want to find a good spot. Maybe this is a good spot for the housing. It's a bit far from the farms. Maybe I should move the farms a bit closer. Ah, it's fine. They just have to till it and plant it. They'll be fine. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start off with building some stuff with the new ramshackle structures. Now, they are much cheaper much 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 cheaper than uh the previous structures uh let's see one two three four we want to do four by long and i want to build walls here so basically everybody can have uh a room at this rate it's pretty handy so there's three Three. I'm doing three by four rooms because I feel like that's a pretty economical size and yet you can still fit many many things in a room. There's also a new thing I noticed where you can rent out rooms to uh, I guess people who come by like visitors and stuff. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I like that feature. It's new. Okay let's pause for a second because I want to build doors real quick let's do ramshackle doors these the ram ways those are ramshackle doorways as in open doors so just make sure you choose the correct one so we're going to start with doors and as they're building we can go ahead and oh see they're already building some this is pretty great so then um let's build more floors here so remember these um oops that's there we go that's what i wanted uh, rooms have to be enclosed. They also have to have a a roof over the top. So I guess we'll start 
I don't think we have any straw right now. And we also need building too, so we don't have that. So let's start off with Ramshackle's uh, roofs. They're kind of cool. I think they're really great. So let's build furniture now. We need to have a bed. Let's have a bed in each one. Uh, you only want one bed in each one, I found out later. Or if you build another bed, it, like, cancels the room. It's very unfortunate. Um, let's see. And then we want to do furniture. We want to have tables. This tiny, tiny table. This is per the apartment advice thing that you get. Okay, there we go. There's tables. Let's go chairs, stools. There we go. Now, it doesn't matter which direction these stools face. As long as they're in the vicinity of a table, your person is going to be able to use it. And they move it around quite significantly. So don't worry about getting it perfect because they're going to move it. And that's just part of the charm of the game, I feel. It's pretty cool. Now, lighting, we could do... Let's see, we could do a torch here. Potential prestige, zero to one. That's pretty rough. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's worth it or not. But they are building. People are doing stuff. Let's see, Fergie is tilling soil. Wilmot is building. Okay, so Fergie, where are you working here? Oh, working up here. Great. Of course, working on the hardest farm. Perfect. I, put, I probably should cancel all the harder farms, I think. Uh, can I just... Rush. Let's, actually, let's just rush this one. I think rushing the pumpkins make, makes more sense in this, in this uh, scenario here. Let's see. The food we have is up here. And I think one of the things that I would like to do is build a storeroom in here. So let's work... We're going to dig into the hillside here, right there, and this is going to be an in, not a down. So we're going to put a doorway across this, and then we're going to work and dig. We're going to just dig this entire thing under, um, and then let's go ahead and select it. It's always good to like square up so you because your selection boxes are square. So mine. Okay, it's going to be in. Now, in means that... Um, oh, Tony can level up. Hooray. Uh, in means that you leave a layer of topsoil on the top, so it will still be able to support this building. Let's see. Tony, you can level up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Tony, hooray. Great doing well thank goodness mining cleaning ranching hauling oh that's great hooray all right so that's good that's good okay so we have progress happening here that's good we have lots of wood as well there's tons and tons of logs on the ground here looks like fergie's taking a bit of a rest here I don't know if we have any pumpkin things. We have one raw meat, corn seeds, grape seeds. Let me check on the learning thing for crafting, farming. Okay, so farming, we have corn, pumpkins, cotton, grapes, meal beans, and October berries. So corn and pumpkins are definitely something we need to prioritize as our grapes. These are meal beans, corn. All right, so that's going to be the next priority is the corn. And uh, maybe we, they're out of season. So let's turn that one off or priority at least. All right, so Ferg is going to work on getting all of that stuff. So Senator Tony wants a one prestige bed. Uh, whoops down no no there oh whoops actually zero okay so did they mine this no they haven't mined it yet i think hard to tell actually but we need to make sure our people are doing stuff i feel like people may not be having the best situation here no fergie 
Fergie is not foraging. I wonder why not. Surely Fergie has not gotten every single October berry on the thing. Is she? I think it's she. Is it she? Oh no, non-binary. Okay. So Fergie has not found a thing there. So let's see. October berry bush. Go with and not ripe, I guess, or not burying? It's not burying. Let's get those. Okay, there we go. I guess this one can be extended to there. Alrighty, this one I guess will be extended to here. There we go. All right, Senator Tony wants... Okay, Tony, where are you at? Okay, you are just sleeping in the middle of the world. Just go and go. Um, one of the things I do want to set is their schedule. I like to have them do a... Let's see, this is going to be six, seven, eight. Sure. Uh, well, maybe they can wake up at 6 a.m. Let's not make this too early. <clears throat> This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I guess we'll have one sleep at the end here. And then I usually like to do eat, or I guess any, and then work. So one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And give them a break in the middle of the day, and then do some more work. Something like this. Maybe we do like that. And then make sure that they allocate time for work as well as time for doing other stuff. I guess maybe eating it all at the same time will give them a chance to socialize. I'm not sure if we think that that's important. Because sometimes they hate each other. <laughs> sometimes they just hate each other. Oh, man. Okay, so what's going on here? Tony is still asleep? Why are they sleeping? Hopefully they're going to get some food. We do have 260 October berries. Um, I think we can build a couple of things here. Boltner Wanderers are visiting. Okay. So if we build a fire pit, we get to cook meat. Let's see. Faulkner Wanderers... Rent budget two, food budget one. Okay. Miles, their rent budget two, food budget one. So we finally caught up to you, Senator Tony. He's a noble of the orc puppies. <laughs> Did you think that Earl Skip was going to let you leave the orc puppies without consequences? You won't rest until you pay for your treachery. Prepare to die. Okay, so I'm going to just select these folks. Uh, this way. I wish you could, like, drag and select you, like you can on uh, RimWorld. I don't know why you can't. I wish you could. So we're going to enlist these people. Okay, hold on. Uh, and I don't know where the enemy... Oh, there's the enemy. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's wait till more people are here. Let's go before we attack them. Go closer to our friends. Friends. There we go. Now we're in a position to attack. All right. So this dude really just wants to hurt us. So we need to try to defend ourselves against this hurt that we are now experiencing on all of our characters. All right. Good. Our puppies are retreating. Imagine that. So we're going to unenlist them. And then this guy, what are we doing with him? I guess with Tony. Let's see. Who's our best nurse? Let's find out. Nursing Wilmot. Okay, so Wilmot, you go ahead and take care of this guy. Let's capture him. Okay, Richard captured, and then we want to... What is soothe? Is that... Like... I don't know what that is, actually. It's just patting him on the head. Why can we just like medical care him, nurse him? Like, huh? Hey? No available bed. All right, so he's gonna have to hang out here, I guess. Apparently, while we make beds. 
I'm a bit amused by this, I gotta say. Really amused. Okay, we got all these October berry bushes. Where do we get the straw? I wonder if it comes from, is it, let's see, dense grass. I think that's where we get straw from. Honestly, for our straw beds and stuff. Well, there's some here, actually. There's tons. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. We did make a little fire, campfire over here. Which, unfortunately, they haven't made a proper fire. Let me grab... That's weird, though, when you, like, try to scroll and do a box. That's very odd. Okay, stone. I want to harvest this stuff. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Richard here. He is out... Just sitting in, like, unhappy, I think. But anyway, let's see what kind of things he does. He's a nurse and a firefighter. Hooray! Yay! That seems great. Let's see, who does he have the best uh, relationship with? Does he have relationships with anybody? Obedience. Wilmot captured me. So, I guess we like... Oh, here we go. Dislike Senator Tony. Well, that's unfortunate. We're just going to have to like him then soon. Jess Wanderers are visiting. Okay, so we... Sometimes on this side here, we're going to see that there are people who want to join our colony. So, we can kind of check them out and see if we want them or not. But, yeah, that's that's definitely something we can keep track of so let's see okay Richard is doing his thing happily doing his thing all right so what do we need for these walls and stuff anything let's just like wood wood we need wood get the fallen logs harvest those and just kind of see what's going on here Tilling soil. And Tony can level up. That is great. So Tony, let's level you up, please. Max health up. Logging, farming, hauling. That's great. That's great. So I'm hoping that Fergie soon starts to plant these things. Okay. Tony's delivering wood. Wilmot is building walls. This is pretty good. Well... The Edgar Wanderers are visiting. Wow, there's so many Wanderers in this. <laughs> At the moment, I don't really care about... I guess I could buy corn seeds. That's kind of what I'm most interested in at the moment. Um, let's see. This is annoying because I can't see what these items are at all. I am completely clueless what is beyond here. This is not good. I want... Why are these on this screen this i don't understand at all uh okay can i say okay no apparently not trade with you no corn seeds which is funny because corn are site seeds they are seeds they just are uh mm, seeds and of course, there's no accept, so I have to actually change the UI. I thought this was organized last time. Remember, like, talking to the devs about this, that it didn't work at certain resolutions. And I thought that that was fixed. Here we are, offer trade. All right, so I guess we can't go at anything above um, 1.25, which is unfortunate. Because, again, as I said, my laptop is a bit uncomfortably far away i have to like lean over to kind of see it because i'm i'm not i'm not in my usual home space which is why the microphone sounds a bit different as well uh so yeah kingdoms we have learned things earl skip is the ruler of the orc puppies yes that sounds most peculiar old straw for those We have we have enough wood. We have tons of wood with tons of straw. Still travel meals, which is good. This needs stone, but we have selected to harvest that stone. So I guess we're gonna have to be having somebody on the prisoner job. That's the guarding job. So we'll put this at number three. It's really important to put it at number three so that you kind of convert prisoners 
every day. So you basically want them to go over guard them, which is converting them or saying, hey, dude, you want to bring to us? Um, and then they kind of learn to belong in your colony, kind of. And uh, that's how you can get them to eventually join your colony. Monsters are attacking. What? Oh, oh that's a Richard monster. <laughs> Okay, so there's a lesser imp. So let's go and collect these people. We're going to press T on them and then have them collect maybe there. Okay, they are chasing poor Fergie. I guess we have two, so that's fine. We can just go and attack the imp here. I really want to get to the point where I can like make them some some stuff. But so far we don't even have a house structure, so that's not ideal. Okay, so press P. Um and we can also butcher this imp wherever it went. Hello? Uh hello? Did it Dead Lesser Imp. Okay. We want to butcher Yes, on priority. I don't know if we even have a butchery table. I forgot if you need one in this game. I know in in, uh, in RimWorld there's such a thing, but I don't remember if it's here. Let's see. Work. We have resources. Tannery. That's for getting the stuff, but we don't even have building two. This is not ideal. Um, we can build a crafting bench and a butcher bench, so that's good. We'll go ahead and build those here build crafting here butchering i think should go in its own little um, room so i'm gonna build a tiny room for that because what happens is you get you get a lot of mess happening is what it is so oh thank you very much walls ramshackle walls sure up there Pause, one, two. Basically one one square for them to stand and then one square for the for the uh thing to be in. Let's see. Doors. There we go with a door. We can put the door on this side. Sure. Um and then we'll build workbench, bench, butchery table. There we go. Yep. Definitely the better way to do this. Now, I'm not sure if I want like an open courtyard in this uh, place or not. Build, structure, floors, ramshackle. There we go. There we are. Okay. And then build a roof as well. But luckily, on see on my test game, I had this like issue where I ha I couldn't even build stairs. It was pretty rough. But I think you can build ramshackle stairs are level one building, which is better than wooden stairs, which are level four. Remember the struggles we used to have with like, okay, let's level the building to get to level four because we can't build stairs. We don't know how to put one foot above the other. Sad times, you know bad times. I find that very silly because like when I was a kid I remember I got let loose in the forest and first thing I did was I wanted to build a set of stairs out of stones. So it's not that difficult. Like if a child like 10 years old can do it. I'm sure it doesn't require too much. I mean maybe OSHA compliant stairs yes but for ramshackle land well I'm glad they they reduced it to one one skill needed. Okay, we need, looks like we need wood. So I'm going to go ahead and just select these bits of wood here, otherwise known as oak trees, and we'll just smush them. I guess I can grab a few of the logs around the place. And then I do want to get this uh, crafting table up to snuff soon. Oh. 
Best Liege, I am here for Autark Shark and the Numb Hammers. I'd like to improve our relations. Can we chat? Yes, sure. Come chat. Yes, enjoy your stay. Okay, so can we... Okay, yeah, we can. This is a tier one apartment. Let's give this one to Senator Tony. Then the next one to the next person. Wilmot. Then Fergie. Then Richard. And then the rest will be for rent. Okay, rent. And rent. Sure. And we'll see if they rent it from us. We have 12 coins so far. And I'm not really sure how that works exactly. I do know that you can raise the rent and give like a plus markup, but like plus 33% apparently that that seems in the red. Like to me that means bad. So we'll see. Edgar wants to join. So let's talk to Edgar. Let's see, Edgar, does he have any good skills? He does actually. He could be a forager for us or cooking. Oh, he could be cooking. Okay, let's find Edgar. Send Tony to talk to Edgar. So, I'm kind of liking some of these. Listen to his request to join me. I'd join the Growing Doors if you'd have me. What say you? Yes, join us. Welcome aboard. Okay, end conversation. So, let's go ahead and sort Edgar's jobs. First of all, let's do these two first, of course, and then we're going to do cooking for you. He doesn't like foraging, so let's do cooking, then farming. Um, maybe crafting? He has a minus minus on that, though, so it's like, eh. You know what? You can be our hauling and cleaning main person. How about and then let's give, let's go to the schedule as well. Because apparently I forgot to do that for Richard too. Okay. And then I think we're good. We don't really have any belongings to give away currently. So we're just going to kind of stick with what we have here. As we get the, the ability to, I want to make them better beds and stuff so these we need building two for those beds but hopefully once all this building is done then we'll be able to actually get some uh yeah some stuff let's see why do i not see the roof on here so weird buildings blueprints areas Farms, finding health, canopy, buildings, areas. Why roof not be here? No. Just, I just want to see if the roofs are not. <laughs> Where? Why? How? All right, people going to go and get some food first, which is great. Uh -huh. All right, very good. So let's see if we can trade any of these people for corn seeds. Would like to get some corn seeds and possibly get oh my gosh they're gonna buy this sure here i'll buy it. i'll i'll yeah let's see they have only four coins though can we no they don't want they don't want to sell us anything good oh okay what about these people they don't want to buy anything for a high price. That's sad. Uh, not that we want to buy anything from them anyway. So, no worries. No worries. Anyway, we'll get back to our, our happily scheduled program here. Okay, so they're going to be... Okay, it looks like they are putting in the roof. You can see the shadow on the ground. That's kind of amusing to me that I can see that. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I'm like, what are they adding? Is that the floor that they're putting in? You know, like replacing the ghost, but it's not. It's the uh, the roof, as we can see. Are these there? Yes, they are actually there. Okay, good. No, it's queued. It says it isn't actually. This is so. These are invisible. These are blueprinty. They have this kind of like purple cast to them. Anyway, where is... Oh, we need to uh, upgrade these people. So let's see. Level up you. There we go. 
Good, good. Fergie, let's level up you. Good, good. Nursing, farming, ranching, hauling, hooray. That is very good. So let's see if I find Richard and like talk to Tony. Tony. Oh, you're here already. Let's see. Let's say speak to. Now I don't know how this is going to work. Let's just talk to them. Uh, okay, so this is always my favorite, least favorite part of this game is the talking mechanic thing. But it does seem like certain other things like these other people just volunteering to be part of our kingdom. That's kind of crazy good. Let's see, this is, what else is on your mind, guy? Okay, oh yeah? There's no such thing as innocent. That sounds rough. Um, do we, you know what I want to find out about R Richard? Let's see, needs... Vitals. Wait, dies in what? Hello? Ah, oh, I can't see this. So frustrating. Dies in two years. Okay, his health is... He's bleeding. Or no, he's starving. He's starving. Okay. So he's gonna die in two years of starvation. That doesn't seem wrong. Doesn't seem too bad. So let's see. Senator Tonmi gave me an apartment, so he's a little bit... He still dislike. He hates Tony, which is me. Um, what are his alignments and stuff? Okay, non-binary, 19 years old. Doesn't say whether he's good or bad or neutral. Vitals, jobs, prestige, steam, obedience. Oh my goodness, where is this? This is really like what oh richard is evil you know what i think i'm gonna release him because i don't need an evil dude here at all just free him yep okay that's fine i don't need to have him here uh because i'd rather not have an evil people evil guy around or an evil person around um because yeah. I believe the rest of our... Are they all neutral? Oh, Edgar is evil too. Interesting. Okay. Well, Edgar, you knew what you were stepping into. So let's talk to these people for trading. These people have corn seeds. Oh, and they will pay us for our imp skin helmet. Hooray. Let's just sell that to them. Okay. And... Can I get another... I guess that works, right? I've cotton seeds actually. Little five. Okay. Here's five and here's five. Okay, so we're not gaining any silver there. All right, that's fine. So is that this person? Mm, maybe. Let's see, Edder, do you? They have wood for cheap and straw. I don't really want any, either of those, though. And the rest we've already talked to, I believe. All right, nice. It does look like we have things happening, though. Everybody's got a bedroom now. I wonder where Tony is. Where did you go? Oh, you just fell asleep on the hillside. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Tony. If you want to sleep out there, it's fine. It's all good. Okay, so Leah wants to join. Let's go talk to Leah. Does Leah have any good anything? Logging, building, crafting, plus two. All right, Tony, talk to Leah. I like this. I, I like this not having to like spam chat with them because that was kind of one of the things I wasn't that thrilled about with the game. Um, but this is kind of more exciting if uh, like people just volunteer to join us like this. I like that. I really like that, in fact. Okay, listen to her request to join. I'd like to join the Growing Doors. What say you? Yes. Welcome aboard. 
All right, let's put Leah in her own room. Let's get this one is for Leah. Leah, there we go. Again, let's see. So how much money do we have? We have... Is it bad that I can't tell what the money is? <laughs> 22 coins. Okay, there's lots of round things that are silvery looking. Okay, 22 coins. If anybody notices that that amount is going up from rent, please say. Because I keep forgetting about it. Okay, Autark Shark is the ruler of the Numb Hammers. Now let's fix her schedule. Okay, and then food. Yeah, this seems good. Good, very good. But we need to get them to. Oh, yes, we need to give her a job. Good job. So, Leah. Hey, hey, girl. How you doing? I guess you could do guarding. And then. Huh. Maybe building. He doesn't like crafting. I didn't even notice that it was red. I that ain't good. That ain't no kind of good. All right, let's do farming. And maybe hauling and cleaning. Maybe likes hauling and cleaning. How many hammers are leaving? Sad time. Okay, well, I think we're off to a pretty good start here. Um, it does look like we need to start uh, harvesting some more October berries. There are a bunch of bushes here that I feel like... I don't know why they haven't been harvested. I could have sworn I told them to harvest unless they harvested and then we're doing more. I'm not sure. I don't know. These guys, October berry bushes. Um, but unfortunately, today we have run out of time. Um, but remember about the sale on this game. It looks like the talking mechanic has been decreased in terms of like getting new colonists. We are already up to five, which is fantastic. Obviously, we now have the new like. How do I see the roof? I know there's got to be a way to see the darn roof. <laughs> Let's see, can we hold, let's see, left alt and wheel navigate. I can't see the roofs. I don't know why. I must be doing something completely wrong here. But anyway, it looks very, very cool. Uh, all the cool stuff and the that the new ramshackle stuff here. It's like tied together with ropes and junk. It's like, all right, this is, this is like proper survival in the wilderness here. But this is almost a window by itself. <laughs> a bit nuts um and remember about we have the new bandit system which we didn't get to yet we also have the new quest system which is basically people asking for our help um and we can earn some stuff or pay some stuff by that system and uh mods check out the mods in the steam community hub thing for mods the workshop steam workshop um and yeah check out the game Again, it's called Noble Fates. Enjoy it. Uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.